Hello, my name is Eric Kirkhoff with YourHost.com, a Digital Rapids um, reseller, and I'm here to guide you through some issues that you may run across that just will absolutely smooth out the use of the TouchStream uh, web or any of the other TouchStream products. Um, it has to do with having the internet and a few other things, your video hooked up. <clears throat> As you can see, we have a good um, video ra uh, running through here and there are some things we can do to set up a project and you need to do every time you load up your unit you need to make sure you hit the setup and you choose your product your project in your project you have um, we try to label them so we know they're easily what they are especially for um, you know groups that have not a lot of technical ability so they can go through here and I just number them one two three one is for an archive the other one is just for uh, iPhone and flash and the other is for just flash alone so it's really easy to pick out then you want to get your input settings um, making sure that you have your uh, composite or S video balanced and unbalanced unbalanced and and balance may be something that might be a little bit difficult to grasp and let me just make it real simple for you the unbalanced side is actually the RCA right left uh, plugs that you're used to seeing on your video machines or your old um, VCRs or what have you and so that that that's pretty much your your unbalanced your balanced is your XLR or microphone type inputs that you would use in a band or or on stage or something like that that's usually what that's for most of the time you're gonna have an unbalanced input especially if you're going remote that will probably be the type of input and then your video input whatever your video is composite or S video right now at this at this time I have a video player sitting up on top that's running S video into the digital rapids unit makes it very easy for testing and you can get a nice solid video in and you can stream it up on a uh, on a page on a test page just to make sure that everything's working prior to uh, going live so when I'm done there I hit the done button I see the video I see the audio uh, mind you when the audio is low like right there you're actually it, it sounds crazy but you're actually going to have a little bit of low sound coming in so I boost that up a little bit so it hits the red it's not always 100% accurate in there so that's that's probably going to be a better level for you and you'll seek your own level on this so once I've done all that uh, then I want to do a trigger arm and then start but I need to make sure that this plug this RJ45 plug the internet connection is plugged into the back if I'm going to do an iPhone iPad I also need to make sure that I have a USB uh, stick plugged into the USB in the back. I have one there. I have one that we typically now are using and it's a tiny one. It's made by PNY and I, I get an 8 gig one and there you see it right there. You can get them at uh, Amazon for like 8 bucks, 10 bucks and they're really nice because they don't stick out and if you're moving the unit around you'll break off the USB end there. So it's very good to have that and put that in. So I'm going to show you what happens when you don't have the RJ45 hooked up. Okay, here we go. Trigger, arm, start. The unit basically freezes. I have nothing. Okay, this might throw you into a panic. Don't panic. It's very simple to take care of. First of all, you need to plug your cable in. Make sure that you have a good internet connection. I'm going to plug that in. I'm also going to plug in the PNY uh, USB. That actually USB for the iPhone iPad is plugged in there so it actually writes to it. You can also write an archive to it but be careful. If you fill that up it will kill your signal. Okay so now we see that our screen is still frozen. This is just like a button on a regular computer. However it's a touch button if you hold it for a certain length of time it will actually completely reboot but we can go for a reset and you see it says restart and you have a pull down and you can select other things but it's restart I'm gonna restart it and in the next video you'll see what happens when I restart this because I won't wait for the whole time I'll just make sure it 
it completely restarts, okay?